The Sarasota Bay Estuary is not a classic estuarine system, but a coastal lagoonal system formed by a necklace of barrier islands to the west and the mainland of Manatee and Sarasota counties to the east. Sarasota Bay is a coastal lagoonal system that is formed by the barrier islands that you see in the background here in the mainland. And it's a very long system. It's 50 miles long and only a few miles wide for the most part. And so as you're uh, analyzing uh, the system, you have to look at the different embayments within the water body itself. So in the south, we start with Blackburn Bay, Little Sarasota Bay, Roberts Bay, the Big Pass area, the main bay segment, and then up here in the Anna Maria Sound area. So each one of these areas is being analyzed independently. When the Sarasota Bay program began, we talked about uh, planning for our future as a collective community, Sarasota and Manatee County. We realized that Sarasota Bay was a body of water without a plan. The Sarasota Bay program brought that all together by bringing the cities and counties of, this, of the Bay Area together through a grassroots organization of, of citizens, scientists who served in a technical capacity, and policymakers, who then charted a course for the Bay and its, and its management to cover aspects of water quality and preservation of, of assets. A lot of the emphasis of the Sarasota Bay program has been, is, and will continue to be nutrient reduction. The role that nutrients play um, as a pollutant and lowering the productivity of the Bay cannot be understated. So the Bay program, through many different avenues, is attempting to reduce the amount of pollutant nutrients into the Bay so that the natural system can recover on its own. And that takes many forms and many shapes. Um, one is habitat restoration, where we're restoring seagrass and mangrove shoreline. Another aspect is taking the septic tanks that presently line a lot of our creek systems and getting them off of line and putting the sewer into a central treatment plant. And more recently, we've concentrated on the individual's contribution of nutrients to the Bay system. 